Hey guys, Press Bell, Comic Book University, and Spider-Man, uh, issue number five of Spider-Man 2. I don't like this. I don't like the title, but I like the comic. There's that. <laughs> this particular, con this is the, the finale of this little five-part miniseries, and it was fun. Uh, I didn't necessarily like every single issue of this comic book, all right? But I liked enough that I was going to continue all the way to the end. I got here, and I really did like this final issue. This was a great way to, way to wrap everything up. And it makes a lot of sense. It also gives us a lot to, uh, to go by in the future. Uh, whoever's going to take up this mantle of Spider-Man, whoever, whoever they're going to call Miles Morales after this, I feel like uh, Bendis is leaving this so that whoever wants to do it can you know, be their guest and change him to whomever. Uh, just, yeah, don't name him Venom Blast. That would not be cool. <laughs> but this was fun. We get to see that potentially uh, Barbara is the love of his life. Um, we get to see, you know, like this is one of those things where I don't know if the 616, uh, excuse me, if the 1610 universe, the ultimate universe is still in existence because you have the, uh, it's like what, an alternate version timeline of the 1610 it's, I don't know, I guess it's not actually the 1610 universe. It's the 1610.5 or something. Who knows? For for those of us, you know, and I'm including myself in this, who need an explanation of the timelines, right now, I don't see any, uh, any actual nomenclature for what this timeline is that the Earth 616 miles went over into just now in this issue. But it looks like it's a continuing version. It can't be the 1610 because, again, um, what's his face? Uh, Peter Parker died in that one. On top of that, uh, the Captain America from the Earth 1610 came over here along with all the other ones. And the Cap died. The uh, the Hulk was beaten up by Blue Marvel. And everybody else, they're just going around looking for bad versions of uh, Reed Richards. On top of that, the Hammer from Earth 1610 had come over here and now War Thor is using well it was just crushed recently in the comics of Thor but like you get what I'm saying that's not the 1610 universe it's a different version of the 1610 universe which is perfectly fine that's acceptable it'll be called something else but it's putting all of that stuff aside and simply looking at this story itself right now I like this this was a good fun heartwarming issue where we get to see I don't know, almost like some pre-closure, you know, because like that's the thing. A lot of this, I think, is not just cathartic, but more specifically therapeutic for Brian Michael Bendis. No one has touched the Spider-Men of the Ultimate Universe. Not really, except Bendis. So he, he's stuck with this run the entire time, whether it was the Ultimate version or not, whatever. This was his baby. This was his puppy. And for him to be leaving the Marvel Universe has to be a huge weight. So, you know, him him leaving, like, these these are his babies. This is, these are his children. And I don't think he's nurtured any other character more than the Spider-Men. So I think in many ways this was just his way of trying to make sense of things. So think about it. Think about the, the juxtaposition here. The original <laughs> version of Miles Morales is here in the Earth 16, uh, uh, 616, not in the 1610 anymore. But the 616 Miles doesn't have anything here. So he's going to go, and, or at least he didn't think so, because that barber is already here. <laughs> she was <laughs> weirdest freaking thing. She's a kid now. So he doesn't know this. So he's going to go to a different version of the 1610 and be with the barber there, something that's continuing and all sorts of crazy stuff, but he's okay with that. And starting over just to be with him, her. Um, meanwhile, think about Bendis. This is this is where he's from. He's from Marvel, and now he's leaving, and he's going to go over to, oh God, this is confusing, to DC. <laughs> so he's he's doing that. I don't know, but he's leaving his children behind, so to speak. This was a fun comic to read, but more than that, I felt like this was Bendis sharing something with us, and we could choose to look at it or not. I know a lot of people don't like Bendis. Whatever, man. Whatever. I, I honestly don't know what to say. But I like Bendis's work. I love Bendis's work. And this was nice that he was willing to share this with us. Anyway, guys. Uh, grade? Psst, doesn't need a grade. This was a great comic. So give it a G for great. <laughs> this is one of those times where the lower the grade, the better, I guess. Um, call it whatever you want. This was an amazing comic this was an amazing concept because it's not the comic so much that i'm grading it's actually just i don't know what he's sharing 
Anyway, guys, that's it for me. Professor Bill, Comic Book University. Class dismissed.